that. This isn't working. Maybe if I tried a new tactic. But what? Think, Corey, think. What do I know about this? Wait. I remember now. The Wanderer's Library. I saw his past. He was a soldier fighting in the Great War. He sang a song that drove everyone mad. Maybe he'll respond to it. All right, here goes nothing. My body lies over the ocean. My body lies over the sea. Oh, God, this is horrible. My body lies over the ocean. Oh, bring back my body to me. Welcome to my favorite moments of the new Skate Pro SCP series. To save me the time of cutting things out, just like the last video, I'm just going to clearly, openly show when I'm pausing and playing from my screen recorder. Now, this is another one of my favorite moments. It's much later on from when I just showed a different one. I am a doctor, and as any good doctor, I would like to acquire one of your pointier wooden doctor sticks for curing elements. Sir, this is a Wendy's drive through Excuses. You are an obstacle in my life. An obstacle that must be cured. This is arguably one of the most laughable moments in the series, especially coming from SCP-049 Joke. The reason he is SCP-049-J is because he's a joke. Hope that makes sense. This is another one of my favorite moments. Then again, that's basically this entire video. So, here it goes. Um, hey, Agent O'Connor! What, Iris? I'm very busy. Uh, look at this rock! Doesn't it, uh, look interesting? Iris, why would I... Huh. That is a nice-looking rock. Wait, that actually worked? I... I have to call the MTF team. Meh. I guess I'll do it later. Uh, okay. Well, was it something I said? I mean, I... Huh? What was I saying? Meh. I'll think about it later. Iris, I'm afraid we're being attacked by the enemy. Huh? I don't see anything. This might be the effect of, uh, an SCP. Eh, uh, I guess we can escape later. Yeah, or we can escape never. Whoever planted this trap must have been a mastermind. Ha! I knew this was a good place to put the procrastination rock. Wait, Iris? What are you doing here? Huh? Who's that? I'm procrastinating on turning my head. Iris, it's me, Corey. Huh? Oh, the rock. Well, I guess I'll just stand here for a little while longer. As you can see, this is clearly funny because it's uh, just a simple rock and it makes them ignore literally everything. Even the creator procrastinated on finishing the episode's title and thumbnail, as you can tell. It's kind of funny. As much as I don't like this episode in general, this one moment is pretty hilarious, I will admit. And it's one of the... And it's one of the things I really like about Dr. Bright's insanity. Especially if you see how much he's changed since season four. Mm, I'll show that stupid SCP who's boss. Uh, take that, you stupid son! Uh, I gave it my best shot. Well, this is going to be painful. <laughs> yep. And there's the end for Dr. Bright. At least in Corey's dream. <laughs> well, his bolts will hit the sun eventually, so technically speaking, Dr. Bright has saved the world. Except, it might take a while for the bolts to travel. Wait a second, they're just gonna pause in space.
This next moment is, well, honestly, now that I think about it, this first, this is the first moment 682 and 053 meet, which will soon tie in to today's episode, which I'm definitely going to be featuring. Oh, I forgot about that. Okay, I skipped the intro. doing with Abby. We gotta put a stop to this right now. Huh? And who might you be? A lowly guard? Corey? You shouldn't be here. We are currently performing a highly dangerous cross-testing experiment. That's exactly why I'm here. You're just gonna get her killed. Wait, Corey? You mean to tell me you're the guard that everyone got so worked up about after you disappeared for months? What's with that camera face, kid? Yeah, well, what's with that stupid cowboy hat? <laughs> oh, let me guess. You're one of those people that puts their feelings first and wants what's best for these SCPs, right? Look, we don't need to get into any more of an argument. Just get Abby out of there, before 682 harms her. Corey, you'll be happy to know SCP-682 has yet to harm her. He... he hasn't? Quite the opposite, actually. Now sit quietly while we continue to observe. <laughs> hey! You're not scary after all. You're kind of cute, actually. <laughs> Do you want me to pet you? We can play games if you like. Wow. They're actually enjoying each other's company. Exactly. This is one of the few instances where 682 comes in contact with a biological tissue and hasn't gone into its rage state. Eh, I can't say I'm impressed. And what do you mean by that? I mean it would have been more exciting to see 053 get eaten. Would have been one less pest to worry about. And there you have it. Dr. Clef's experiment to see one or the other killed has failed. Instead, well, they meet each other and it ultimately leads up to their escape plan. This next moment is definitely one of my favorites. And I'll admit, even though I don't like anime, um... I do fully support Ruby in this moment. Send in anyone you want, Princess Emma! I'll take them on! Guards, attack! Bring it on! I have the power of God and anime on my side! My My leg! Anyone else, Emma? Why don't you come down here and we'll settle this now? And as usual, nobody stands a chance against Ruby. I mean, yes, in today's episode, Seth shot her. But still, she's fine. This next moment is just plain and simple hilarious. And I definitely love it. It'll be hard Listen not to, to me laugh. before I destroy this entire building, you unhinged imbecile. Sir... This is a Wendy's drive through Inside voices, please. Now, you said you wanted two chocolate Frosties, and what else? Uh... The Chicken Nuggies! Give me the Chicken Nuggies! Oh, yes. And some Chicken Nuggies. You mean the Chicken Nuggets, sir? No. I said Chicken Nuggies! <laughs> <laughs> you don't give Abel his chicken nuggies, he will destroy your radio box. So, you should listen to him when he's trying to do his master's bidding. Oh, and here is just another great moment. If she dies, then I can't... Uh, Laura, 
Shall we go? I'm too scared. I can't do this. Hey, dragon. You're gonna have to go through me before you can hurt her. Corey? What are you doing here? I have to protect you. It's the only way. Why don't you just die? Oh, what's happening? And as usual, nothing could beat Cory's Scarlet mode. If anything, he could have used it on 239 to force her to bring back Laura instead of just asking. But that's just my personal opinion. And if he had done that, then Dr. Gears wouldn't have stopped him. Well, next one. Okay, I'm basically going to be showing everything from this newest episode, but instead of showing the entire episode, I'll just show my favorite clips. So let's get to it. You seem like a sweet girl. Too bad I'm going to have to. <laughs> Tommy? Stay dead! Good riddance. Nobody liked you, Seth. Then again, you were just doing your job. Now on to the montage of sniping soldiers to death. Uh, huh? What the? Hey, what's going on down there? The MTF are good at their job. Oh yes, and just like that one facility breach, here comes another one. Huh? Hey! They're coming this way! Mm, it's been a long time since I've faced the likes of you. Everyone, open fire! Now! As Johnson said, why would you attempt to hit a thousand-year-old old man? Why would you hit it? I'm sorry. Why would you attempt to hit a thousand-year-old immortal man wielding an all-powerful sword? The final part of this episode was just purely perfect. I couldn't stop smiling. Who doesn't like to root for the bad guys from time to time? Especially when the bad guys are also the protagonists. Okay, that's only partially true. Ryder. Hey! <laughs> yeah, zero five three. Just what is going on here? You there, Corey, right? What did you do? Is it not obvious? He let her out. He answered his true calling. You, you idiot! Are you trying to end the world? Where were all those guards to try and stop you? My brother is far greater than any man here. He has learned to kill with ease. No. Ah, uh, I'll kill you. Yeah. Ugh. For such a well-experienced individual, I do not expect for you to be so naive. Um, uh, Tanti? Where are we going exactly? Oh, my child. We are going home. Oh, um, can, can Corey come too? But of course, my brother does not have a choice on whether he wants to or not. Well, they escaped. 
Now to wait two days for the next episode. Let's be honest. Everybody was happy during this moment. Because nobody will miss Alice. Cody, please, don't do anything crazy now. Alice, I've been thinking about the worst punishment I could possibly give to you. No, I beg of you. I don't want to die. I know. I remember what you said, Alice. About your goal, to live forever. Cody, 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 the Scarlet King has warped your mind. Please don't do this. I'm... I'm sorry. Goodbye, Alice. No. No! Good riddance. Nobody will miss Alice. Now she's going to it. Eternally die to SCP-1765-1. This is technically backtracking from the one I just did, but this is probably my most favorite moment in the entire series. Where are we? This isn't the outside of the Foundation. This place is a prison. Prison? Whose prison? His. And that's going to wrap it up for my favorite moments in the new Skate Pro SCP series. I want to thank all of them for their hard work and dedication into the series. It is truly amazing, and I really love the storyline of it. I'm definitely hoping for a lot of things. I'm not going to make my theories video just yet, but I definitely want to see Hooper and Trion again. Hooper's in hiding, Triana's running her own facility, but if you're on my channel and you haven't seen this series, I suggest you watch it yourself, otherwise this won't make any sense. But thank you so much for watching, and now I can pi finally press the stop button.